Okay, so now we're going to, what I've done is I've taken everything that we went through um, so far, and I've started on the, a rudimentary 5351 um, um, VFO. So this is going to actually use the 5351 board to generate the frequency. It's going to display the frequency on the OLED display and use the encoder to change the frequency steps. Um, so we're now going to use all four of these libraries. Um, we'll use the Adafruit libraries for the OLED display, um, the Etherkit to drive the 5351, and then the rotary encoder to basically for our input. Uh, so let me go over here and I'll get to the source page. Um, and this is going to look like a giant cobble of everything that we've done so far. So at the top, we've included all our, our headers for our libraries. Uh, we've declared our 5351. And I set my calibration factor. Um, and this was based off of me using my... Uh, finally figured out how to get my function generator and counter working. But, you know, it has the same problem. The resolution on it is not very good. It's, it's down to the hertz. Um, so when I reran it, instead of being 65, it was closer to 10. Um, we set up our screen width and height. And then you'll notice that these divisors are a little bit different because... Um, in order to use a rotary encoder, we had to drop it by um, a factor of 100. So um, the, we're not trying to divide by millions of a, or hundreds of a hertz now. We're dividing by a hertz. Um, I'll set up our, our screen. And then I go in and set up the, ro uh, the rotary encoder definitions. And then you'll see here's our, our stuff for the, the bands and the frequencies. I even set up a mode, although we don't have a way to change mode right now. Um, we could use a push button to change mode. Um, and then we got our target frequency here. And then um, the only thing that's really changed here is um, I'm just switching bands like we did before. But I'm also um, getting the target frequency and saving that off when we switch the band. So that, uh, because what will happen is in our loop, it'll come back and it does the display after it processes the rotary. Um, so, and then down here on, when we, when we read the value, I'm just doing the same thing as I'm setting the target frequency so that Every time we update that frequency, we're going to basically um, update the SI5351 and we're going to update the display. Um, and then th this is the code from the frequency display project that we had. So we've got our clear display, our show, and then our display frequency. And then our display band and our display mode methods. Uh, that we went through last week. And then the loop here, it clears the display, it displays the frequency, the band, the mode, and then it writes everything to the display. Then in our setup, it's I've combined um, the setups from everything. So the first thing is we get the dis we init the display, get it all set up. Um, then we're going to uh, get the rotary encoder set up. And the acceleration. Then we're going to set our target frequency, and then we're going to knit the uh, 5351. Set the correction factor on it. Uh, set it as a fixed um, signal, and then because I've got to multiply this by 100, I have to basically cast this to an unsigned int, um, and then we call set frequency. And then our loop is it's going to go through, it's going to check the rotary, then it's going to update the display, and then it's going to set the frequency. 
if it's changed. Now what we could do is we could say, you know, we could put a flag in here so that we don't set the frequency unless we need to. Um, that's pretty much it. Any questions about the code? All right, then I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to kick off a build. And then I'm going to switch over to our overhead view. So now you should see that the it's display it's displaying we're we're at um, 1.8 megahertz. Oh, it doesn't look like it's interesting. I'm seeing something totally different. I don't think this actually went out. No. Nope. No, nope, this is not the right. Oh, you know why? Because Jim didn't change his default project. All right, now let's do it. Okay, get over here. So now you should see that the display is updating. And I'm going to bring over my. Okay, now you should be able to see it. Let me switch this now. Move head on. That's still. Oh, can you guys read that? Yeah, it's showing that we're generating. All right, let me try turning this off and see if that helps any. Now that's too bright. There, that's about the best I think I can get it. Yeah. Okay, so now let me. I'm going to change bands, and you should see that it's reading like 3.5 megahertz. 3.5005. Yeah. <sighs> Come on. Now we're at 7 megahertz, so I'm just, I'm just jumping through the band, yeah. and, and if I take in... Uh, Switch back over to the overhead. You'll see our um, <clears throat> that we're reading seven megahertz. So we're actually able to, um, you know, generate generate our signal on the frequency that we want, and, and our display is kicking it out. Any questions? So now the next thing is how do we get this to... Uh, real quick, uh, uh, Bill McNichols has a question. Uh, if sure. you're generating, are you running a uh, running this to an antenna or are you going to burn this thing up? No, it, it's, it's, such a, it's such a low signal. It's less than... It's it's basically generating a signal in milliwatts. You're not going to burn it up. Okay. Um, what we're gonna one of the after we're done with this process, the next thing we're actually going to do though is we're going to start looking at uh, building a bandpass filter so that we can put it on a uh, on an antenna, uh, so that we can start looking at doing uh, the different um, um, like the whisper um, beacon and the CW beacon. But, okay. Yeah, you won't hurt it uh, doing that. All right. Thank you.
So one of the things that um, that's r rather hard here is we don't program or we don't we don't normally run um, frequencies in hertz, right? We're usually running everything in uh, in like one kilohertz. So if we were to take these and drop these by, let's say, two more, right? Let's see if we can actually get our our frequency generation a little bit closer to what we use. Now let me switch over to visual code here so you can see what I'm doing. So what I'm doing now is instead of this being in hertz, I'm going to move it up into the kilohertz range. And then... Uh, We'll have to play around with getting the display to work a little bit better. Okay, and then I think what we're going to have to do is delete these by two. All right, and then we're going to have to multiply by, in the setup down here, we're going to have to add two zeros to the end of that. So now we're going to multiply by 10,000 instead of a 100. So now let's let's see if we can get this to to work properly. I have a feeling that the biggest part's going to be playing with the display. But let's see what we get here. Oh, I didn't send it to the Searching, searching, searching. Okay, what's my display say now? Okay, it shows us at 1.08 megahertz. So our display is right, our frequency is right, but our display is off. Uh, let me, I'm going to switch back to my overhead or my head on here and I'm going to. See if you can't see the frequency changing in hertz now instead of megahertz. So, you guys see the display okay there? Dang it. I can't. Yeah, I can see it there for a second. Okay. I need to turn it so it's head on. There we go. And then maybe up a little bit. See, now we're going in like single kilohertz range. I didn't stage up. A... So now we're at 3.5, 15, 6, 17, 18, 19, 20. So that's more like what we would normally do. But if I switch over here to the overhead, if you notice, it shows 3502, zero. That's actually right. But that display is wrong. So we need to do something to, we need to multiply that last thing by 100, right? So let's go back up here to our display frequency. You didn't change your uh, your single hertz. Uh, uh, you should make that 0 .001. Um, I, I believe that uh, 
you changed all the others. You didn't change the single hertz, so it's just keeping that at one hertz uh, per click. Yeah, let, let's try that. Point zero zero one. Um, let me get back over here to Visual Code. Yeah, I left it at one, but it should actually be. Um, Like that, right? So let's uh, let's see if that works better now. Okay. And yeah, but we get some extra zeros on the end of it. <laughs> We're close. We're much better. But I, I don't know if you can see that, but it, now it's like 5,000.008 or something. So what I'm going to try is instead of, um, I don't know if you, can, you guys can see what happens is We're going to try something a little different. What I'm going to do is leave that at one, um, but we're going to multiply after we get that frequency. Let me switch back over here to VS Code. Um, we're going to take this and our hertz, and uh, we're going to not. Um, we're going to multiply it by a hundred. Actually, we're just going to multiply it by a hundred. Um, and let's see if that makes a difference on the display. Okay. Okay, so far that looks good. So let's go to our overhead view. And let's see if we get the step what we're expecting. There we go. You guys see that now that that step is going? Yeah. And um and it's falling right along um with the um uh, the frequency counter is falling right along with the display. Looks like we're... You can put a case statement in there for like a fast or a slow, and the slow gets you down in the hertz, and the fast gets you, you know, like at the kilohertz or something, you know. Yeah, that's true. Um, well, we could also set up acceleration, right? We can go back over here to Visual Code. So let's say we want to we what we want it to go faster if we spin it faster, right? So let's uh, get to our setup here. And let's set our acceleration to um, let's say we set it up to twenty five. So that means it'll jump at two point five kilohertz steps if we spin it really fast. Okay, and then I'll switch back over here to the overhead view. So it should be booted up now. So we're doing one twos, but if I spin it really fast, no, it's not it's not much We change X. We'll change the acceleration and set it to uh, let's say 250 and see if that makes a big difference. I'm gonna once it's done here, we'll we'll try that. <laughs> 